Hey guys, uh, so Katie and I went and saw the Peanut Butter Falcon, Shia LaBeouf, Dakota, Dakota Johnson, Johnson Bruce, Bruce Dern, Dern, and I can't remember the kid's name. I can't remember his either, but it's really, really good. It's lovely. So there's a, a young man with Down syndrome who has no family and the state puts him in an old folks home because that's the only thing they can really think to do with him. Dakota Johnson, right? Mm -hmm. She plays his kind of caregiver. He has this dream of becoming a professional wrestler and he keeps trying to escape. His roommate, Bruce Dern, one night helps him escape. And he heads down to North Carolina to go to wrestling school. And he runs into Shia LaBeouf along the way, who is on the run his own. And a very, very heartwarming and funny, funny kind but, of... But tense. Yeah. In a lot of places where yeah. you were scared for people. Yeah. Really scared for people. Yeah. But it's a really good movie. Um... I love Shia LaBeouf. I've been a huge fan of his since his even Stevens days. Went a little crazy there for a while, but I'm really hoping that this he is... He pulled a Joaquin Phoenix there for exactly. a few minutes. Um, and I'm really hoping that this is a movie that kind of makes people kind of pay attention to him again. He was fascinating in this movie. Everybody was really good he at it. He and Dakota him. together are great. We were talking about before we left how how natural they both are yeah it's like just you just feel like you're kind of eavesdropping on strangers across the room yeah instead of there isn't any acting in the acting yeah it was great it was and lovely everything between uh, the actor who was playing there was an actual actor with down syndrome playing the character of the down syndrome which was nice to see and everything between him and shia was also very natural I I got to really I think genuine. everybody yeah the whole the entire film even oh yeah John Hawks is in it too John freaking Hawks is in it and and Barenthal is in it although he doesn't we don't ever hear him really right. say anything yeah Barenthal like doesn't it. show um and um this is a side note but Mick Foley and Jake the Snake Roberts <laughs> show up towards the end I was very excited about that, especially when I recognized it was Mick Foley. And the scary thing is, I didn't recognize it was Mick Foley until I saw the cauliflower ear. When I saw the cauliflower ear, I was like, oh my god, it's mankind, it's Mick Foley. Which is scary, because I wasn't even still watching wrestling, and I knew it. And she knew who it was. So, alright, so our overall feel for the film... Go see it. Yeah. Go see it. Katie said she'd go see it again tomorrow. I, I would go back and see it again tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'd go back and see it again tomorrow, but we I... We have another movie to see tomorrow, but I'd right. like to see it. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this film. It's everything I wanted it to be. This has been on my radar for a few months since I saw first saw the trailer a few months ago. Um, I absolutely love it. Uh, Katie loves it, so it we're both going to tell you. Pacing, the soundtrack was fun. Just mm -hmm. the, re the re it was really just the relationships because they did yeah. all feel really mm, real, organic. Yeah, everything was real, and it and it felt believable. Nothing was forced. Even the side characters, the the dude in the store when Shia, this there's this this wonderful this scene with this guy in a shopkeeper store who doesn't even have a cash register. He's doing everything <laughs> up on. Paper and pencil. Paper and it pencil. was. It was. But even the acting in that scene was just phenomenal. I don't even the, think the dude was an actor. I think he was probably. I would not be surprised. I'm guessing there were a lot of these folks because there's some. There's somebody that runs kind of the dock area where yeah. Shia is yeah, yeah, the yeah. beginning that definitely had that. This is just somebody who lives in this town that yeah. they pulled. The old blind guy in the swamp that they mm -hmm. spend a little bit of time with definitely had that feel yeah. of this is either an extra that somebody was like, you got to hear this guy's voice and let him yeah. do the scene. Or, yeah. yeah. So yeah, Katie and I absolutely it loved it. it. Um, so we'll put that down on our list of movies you guys should see. Um, no, we can't do that. Siskel and Ebert <laughs> have that. They have that locked down. No. We can't do it, so... Oh, no. <laughs> you can't do that because I'm too white. You were just too white to do that. So we're going to end this now before Katie does anything else to embarrass us. We will talk to you guys later. We'll actually have another review for you tomorrow. So, all right, bye.